Hey man, it's the ISO God Sensei, the greatest UK in existence. And within this video, I'm gonna be showing you the best jump shots, best bad setups, best jump shot tips. Y'all still can't shoot. Y'all comment down below y'all's favorite base, and y'all let me know what y'all rate 2K24 currently right now, one through five. Okay, now firstly, the first jump shot I wanna show y'all is this jump shot right here, right? So if you messed up your build, you really didn't mess it up, but you didn't know about the T-Mac, right? You might've did something like make your mid-range or your three-point only a 86. You know if you have an 87, then you can unlock T-Mac, which is the best jump shot in the game, okay? This is a baby T-Mac for some reason, right? It's like the same release and you shoot over people, okay? Listen very closely to me. This is my 6'8 Magic Johnson build. It got a 70 something three, right? But I got a high midi, so I could get this. And you could get this at like a lower, even lower. Like, it's, I think it's like 74 maybe. But listen, I'm telling you, this jump shot is better than JT Thor. It's better than the, the little, the Taurian Prince, the goddamn, the, the Scotty Pippen, whatever el else it is, you know, like the mid tier when you don't have the T-Mac for some reason. I can just hit with this effortlessly. I play casually like y'all, bro. I be taking hella breaks from the game. I get on, I shoot lights out using this jumper on my 6'8 build, right? So test it out if you have trouble shooting and uh, you can't use T-Mac, okay? If you can't use T-Mac, try this jump shot. The releases, all that, for some reason, <laughs> it be working. <laughs> Now this jump shot right here, I think this hold the best in the game, man. If you don't want that core, get a little bit more release height. Yeah. Now this jump shot right here is the best guard jump shot when you're 6'5 and under, okay? You shoot over people, people saying it's hella glitchy, but you have to be a certain rep. I think it's starter three or vet three. I don't think it's vet three. It's one of the uh, reps, so you gotta play the game a lot. If you don't have this base, just put on <laughs> just put on curry i'm gonna show you my curry base right here yeah a lot of people are crying about that patty mills base they're trying to get it banned in tournaments banned from stage uh, pro-am leagues all that people are crying saying it doesn't take skill all type of you know they saying you can't do stuff with any other base only like <laughs> the patty mills jumper and yeah they say you can't even compete unless you have that jump shot when you're like on the tip top level. Hear my curry jump shot. Test it out, bro. Hey man, make sure y'all subscribe if y'all new. Okay, now I'm gonna give you the two best big man jump shots, man. Well, at least the bases. You might not be able to get the releases, but you can work around that and just switch to uh, releases. But when I use this seven foot huh, point center, y'all drop a comment below if you want this build. I be butter, bro. You feel me? This little Eric Pashko on the base. You know, it's decent. I got a nice little releases. You know, you can shoot straight over people. You already seven foot. Then you got a nice release height and a decent speed. Everything Gucci. Good base for bigs, man. Now, the second one I'm going to show you is this Isaac. Okay, you can shoot over people even easier as a point center. Decent speed, a little weaker stability. But, you know, your release height is better, man. These two bases as a big... You know, you should really try to get on your build. And of course, the requirements will be lower if you use different releases. And to get all your hot spots, dog, if you're really struggling, my career, 12 minute quarters on rookie. Thank me later. <laughs> Thank me later. That method seems to be easier than the street ball method. Me the street ball method still seems pretty easy. But my career, 12 minute rookie, that seemed crazy easy. A lot of people don't know about that, bro. Okay? And you could just shoot over people. A lot of people don't know you could shoot over these on these like easy settings. I even shoot over them in street ball. A lot of y'all don't know that. Here, man. I wanna show y'all this right here, guys, okay? This is very important. This is so important, bro. A lot of y'all, you're not thinking, man. I've been on at least 40 different accounts this year, right? And I'm noticing something. People don't have their badges or their hotspots and they're going to play and then they're whining about the game. Especially this year since the rebirth, right? It gets you the silver badges or whatever. People aren't getting their hotspots and maxing out their shooting badges. You have to do it. Literally, this right here, look, y'all are playing and you don't even got this max. 
How do you know the real truth of the game? You feel me? Look, Hall of Fame MIDI Magician. Bro, are you going to miss a MIDI with that? Especially, I already gave y'all the best pull-ups in the game. Y'all go check it out for your build. I gave y'all the best releases in the game too. And I'm finna go over the best jump shots again. I go, I put in different jump shots every time. But look, you want to max out your jump shots. Look, right here, Claymore. You want to max this hole out. You want to max out Mini Magician. You really want to max out open looks. This is so important. It will change your game. I don't know why the goddamn modded controller guys, they're not doing uh the badge updates on all the uh shooting badges first. Like, I don't know if I'm just tripping, but I just feel like these shooting badges change everything. Like, like it's not even close. Like when you play with without this and then compared to with this, it's completely different, bro. That Catch and shoot, one of the most important badges, bro. People don't even got their catch and shoot max. They're gonna go play and they're missing. Look, I got this whole Hall of Fame. You feel me? People aren't maxing out their badges, especially because of the rebirth. I'm telling you, this is why you're missing way more than not. Look, the green machine, you gotta get this whole max. Maybe it might not do nothing this year, but I, I, I don't know in particular what but I know overall, when you get all your badges, it's way easier to shoot. I'm shooting 75% on an 83-point build, right? Look, Space Creator, max that hole. Watch what happens. It's broken. Look, max that hole. Watch what happens. You, you see these badges? You want to max out your shooting badges, bro. The Agent 3s, you want to max this hole out. Before you say, like, the shooting this and that and that and this. The, the shooting's broken because Mike Wang's playing God. It's giving you random releases, and it's not letting you make it when you do time it right, bro. When you do a little bit wiggly and you still time it right, he's not letting you make it sometimes. It's annoying. It's broken, bro. It's it's annoying. Like, like, stop punishing the top players. It's corny as hell. Mike Wang really need to lose his job, bro. Blinders, look. Max this hoe out. Watch what's going to happen. The Hall of Fame Deadeye, max this hoe out. Watch what's gonna happen, okay? Limitless range, max it out. Watch what's gonna happen, you feel me? I'm telling you, bro, max your badges. If you need the method, let me know. I could get all the shooting badges in probably six hours overall, like all of them, right? I just don't have the time, you know? This is a new build, by the way, this is a rebirth. I did all this in, in one day, all these badges you see, I did all this in two hours. Before I get into all the jump shots, I want to show y'all this, right? Get your lethal hot zones, okay? 2K Lab did a test, right? You have to at least get your hot spots. Before you play online, get your hot spots, bro. It will be way easier to shoot on every build you use. Get your hot spots. Send this to a friend. Tell them, get your hot spots. Stop making everyone miserable to play the game because you're too lazy to get your hot spots. Get them. The lethal, these purple hot zones, you have to do the art of shooting drill. I think it's open like two times a week. Y'all uh, clarify down below. And also let me know y'all's favorite jump shots down below and uh, anything else, but you know. But look, hot zones, very important. You have to get them. Now look, here are the visual cues explained by Mike Wayne. I personally use release, but you can hear what he says. But look, none of this truly matters because there's so much latency. But you know, you have to let it go before the cue of whichever one you use. It's kind of crazy, bro. But listen up, yeah, li li listen up. Jump is the point where your player's toes leave the floor. Set point is when the ball is raised up above the head before the shooting motion begins. Push, which is the default setting, is when the shooting motion is underway and the ball is being pushed forward. And release is the point just before the ball leaves the shooter's hand. Jump is the point where your player's toes leave the floor. Set point is when the ball... Now look, the whole problem with this is there's so much latency in 2K and there's so there's different latency in so many different modes. So it's kind of hard, you know, you know, but it's still easy, right? You just got to get used to it. You know, you got to have your prediction skills up. You can't always go off the queue because there's so many different latencies. Take off trigger effect. Something should not be vibrating in your hand. You're a grown man. You feel me? 
take off trigger effect on your PlayStation and on the game. You can keep on vibration, it's cool. But take off trigger effect throws you off, it's ridiculous. When I be playing Wreck, all I hear old heads, young heads, you know, just turn off your jump shot meter. I don't care if you don't know your jump shot, figure it out. You get a 20% plus boost without the meter. Tell all your friends, share this video to them. I know they're scamming us, but if you want to be able to shoot, <laughs> jump shot boost will help you. If you want to be able to shoot, also even better, Gatorade, okay? Um, you can probably go with one of these hoes or not even use it. Make sure you always do your weekly workouts. They took gym rat out the game. If you do your weekly workouts on a certain level, you're gonna get the extra blue bar that helps you with your shooting and everything you do, correct? Very important, your Gatorade is gonna help you shoot. You, you see how they, everything in the game is designed for you to be in a VC deficit. We are basically paying to play the game. Y'all ain't never thought about that, huh? Now, one more thing. In every 2K, people take all this stuff off to make it have less lag delay. You could turn off your shot feedback. You could turn off everything. If you, like, if you feel like stuff is really bothering you, if you're lag delayed, you turn all this off, it could help. I'm gonna keep it on. But they say you turn all this off. You know, they be doing this in every 2K, like the stage guys. I don't know if it help or don't. The ball trail, they turn it all off. If you're experiencing stuff and you just want to test this out, this is something you could. Hey, y'all click on this video on the screen. But hey, hey, here we go again. Yeah. Here we go again. People talking this, but when this hit the fan, everything I'm at made me. Now break it down. Yo. Off the top of the dome, dome.